Hello friends, I think this is the very common question asked by many as my friend asked me after a formal training how to practice and for that how to get case studies. To answer that I can say there are few free sample data providers like Kaggle etc. This is a website. But in this video I am going to explain how to create your own dummy data and create a report like this. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a dummy data for recruitment analysis. Using that data, how to create a report like this using simple DAX functions. Keep watching. To create the dummy data, I'm assuming that I need some additional workforce for my business. For that, I need to go for a recruitment drive so that I can get eligible candidates. So I need to understand how to proceed for that recruitment drive. First thing, I need to have profiles or CVs. So I'm going to hire a few agencies like uh, maybe some private agencies and then advertising in LinkedIn, Facebook, etc. And also introduce their referral program within the organization. Then. What are all the positions are required? So where I want to fit the people. So in business, which are the profiles I require? And then I have certain recruiters. So I've appointed few people already in the organization to take care of the recruitment drive and then some other parameters. So first let us understand the three things. So we are creating a dummy data using these parameters and then we will be establishing the complete data set using dimension tables and fact tables and then creating a complete star schema. Now let me jump into Excel to create the required data. First I need to start with my dimension tables. First one is CV source. I have given advertisement in LinkedIn and Facebook. So these are primary source of data and then I have appointed two agencies where from I'm getting CVs that is ABC limited and then P limited. Then I've introduced the referral program within the organization. So referral. Since I want to use this as a dimension table, I want to give a primary key. So source ID 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I want to convert this into a dynamic table, control L and then my table has headers to be checked and press OK. And I need to give a name to this source or CV source. The next table will be the recruiters data. So I have four recruiters in my organization to take care of the this entire recruitment drive. So recruiter name, then Vijay, Anand, Sam, John. Again, primary key. So, recruiter ID. And then the name of the table, recruiter. The next table is for the positions vacant where I wanted to place people. So this is position and then I need a finance head and then I need few people in IT and ITS. I want a few software engineers as well. I want an admin assistant. and then few finance executives. Again, the position will have a primary key that is position ID. And then a table. The name of the table is positions. I may require few more dimension tables but I'm going to create them later. First I require the 
fact table having all the transactions, candidates and respective information. Jumping into the sheet two and then first column name is candidate name. Since it is a dummy data, I'm not worried about the names of each candidate. Just write candidate one. And then since I want some almost some 1200 transactions, since this is a drive for almost one and a half years, I'll press control G and I'll go to uh, B1200 and then control shift up arrow key and press control D. But I'm getting all candidate one only. If I double click on the corner of the ca candidate one, the names will be replaced with continuous. It's a kind of flash fill. Then I need to look at the CV received date. So CV date. This drive is for almost one and a half years. So I'm creating some random dates. Date, it is started in the beginning of the year of 2019. So 2019 comma one comma one. And then the date is ended in 31st of October. So 2020 comma 10 comma 31. And then if I just take the dates, I need to copy paste these values because I'm using rand between which will give uh, dynamic dates. I mean, randomly, this is changing the uh, dates on each calculation. So I converted into values. And then I just sorted this alone. So that I'll get oldest in the starting. So that way I have my dates. The next column I require the CV source column. So there are five sources. So CV source ran between one comma five. This will give me the random CV source. I need to copy paste values. Instead of uh, CV source, let me have source ID because this is source ID. This is the primary key used as foreign key now. The next column I want the position. So positions are five. So position ID. There are five positions again ran between 1 comma 5 and this will give me the candidates position applied for. The next required column is recruiter ID. So recruiters are 4. So I need to say rec ID recruiter ID and then ran between 1 comma 4. So this will give me randomly the recruiters allotted to each position and each CV. After adding these important columns, I need to look at the rest of the process. First is to screen the data, filter the data. I have received so many CVs, but each CV is not fit for the job. So I need to look at each and every CV, whether call the candidate or look at the quality of the CV and then decide whether to be considered for the first round or just rejected. So next columns will be like this. One is screen date because I need to screen each and every CV. Then screen status. So whether I have to uh, either I have selected it for the next round or rejected it. And then there is a reason for rejection. So I say screen rejection. I would like to consider the screen date as CV date because I am screening each and every CV immediate after receiving. So screen date will be equivalent to CV date. And then I need to say accepted or rejected. So I am just creating a formula. Choose ran between 1 comma 2 rejected and accepted. So this will 
create a column containing randomly accepted or rejected and then I can copy paste and it is a dummy data. Based on that, I need to set up the rejection for, I mean reason for rejection. Now I need to add few reasons for rejection. So for that I need to have a list of them. So let me go to sheet one and then start typing the rejection reasons. While going through the CVs, I understood that few are overqualified and few are with less experience. And few candidates I liked when I, but when I called them, I got answer, not interested. Maybe they got a job. And then few are not in station. They may come late, by then I'll not be uh, waiting. So they are not in station. Few have got some communication issue. And then few are higher expectation so there are six reasons I have created now I need to convert them into a single cell value because I'm going to use the same function choose random between and I need to use all these six results so that the column will have randomly wherever the rejected thing rejected the candidate value for that, let me add a double quote in front and double quote last and just copy paste. Then let me combine them. So I can select this ampersand, select this ampersand and then just copy paste. So basically I'm just concatenating these three values. So first double quote, text and second double quote. Then I can combine all these values into single cell value. I just copy pasted all these values then text join join all these values with a comma so comma if any blank is there please ignore those empty cells so true and then select all the values you can see all the values are sitting in single cell now. I need to just copy paste and keep it ready now I need to copy this text let me first go to sheet 2. Let me filter only rejected because I need to uh, add this particular condition or reason for rejection into only for those rejected. Let me come back and let me copy this. Let me copy the cell value and then come back to sheet 2 and say choose rand between 1 comma 6 and then paste all these values close bracket now if I just copy paste this across I will get the reasons randomly so wherever it is uh, accepted I'll say selected so these are all selected for the first round sorry and remaining all are rejected I need to just copy paste value so that those values are constant next I need to create first round second round and final round so let me create first round date and then first round status you can actually add first round rejection reason also but I'm not considering as of now to make sure that this video is not very lengthy but the process what I mentioned in the uh, while creating selection reason you can use the same method to create the first round reason also rejection reason so let me select only those are accepted in screening there I need to add the date for first round so first round will happen approximately uh, between 2 days to 20 days that is what I am assuming so I'll select this date plus rand between 1 comma 20 sorry 2 comma 20 so between 2 to 20 days it will take so approximately I'm just creating this and just copy paste this to all so I need to say copy paste values out of this again I need to have 
accepted and rejected so let me select only non blanks and i can create a rand between sorry uh, equal choose rand between 1 comma 2 and then accepted or rejected if you want to add a column for rejection reason wherever rejected just follow the method what i have explained earlier and then you can add that so we have created the first round column so now i'm just copy pasting these values and then the rest will be the same i'm just creating them and keeping ready so that it will not be part of the video but you know how to create it this is the final data after creating those two additional columns that uh, second round and third round related columns by this i can see out of 1196 candidates there are almost uh, 41 candidates are hired i've just taken a little care because finance said you can't have multiple finance heads so in case of finance head i've taken only one post one is finance head so there's only one finance head hired and remaining i've taken multiple also i've created one more uh, criteria i mean category called pending so if anybody not joining the hired candidates not joining and i can use this buffer to call them to join and out of them also there is one uh, finance head also uh, is included so that way i wanted to keep it to the uh, reality i mean not really this is not a real data and i require some suggestions from the folks who are watching this video and i want to understand if they have any suggestions to make this uh, data much more um, clear and more more real right so that way this data is ready and then we are using this entire data to uh, create the visualization understand the insights first thing i need to convert this into a table so control l and then i'm naming this table as rd recruitment data and then save this file as recruitment data in the next video i'm going to use this data to create this kind of report so please keep watching if you are visiting first time to my channel please do subscribe to get notified for the upcoming videos so that whatever report i'm going to create in that video will be intimated to you and if you have already subscribed thank you very much please share with many and uh, please don't forget to like and give your comments and i would like to receive comments on the kind of uh, data creation i have done whether it is very near to your kind of data or what i need to add into that so that it will become much more uh, real data Keep watching. Thank you very much.